Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov, and today I want to show really, really cool Cypress thing that I just... Well, it's not really finished, it's still a work in progress, but I want to show you what it does. So imagine I have a Sudoku game, right, right here. I'm visiting the page, and that's all I'm doing. Every time I visit the page, you get a new board, which makes end-to-end -end testing very difficult. It makes visual testing very, very difficult. I want to have the same board every time I start the game. Because this is a game module that calls get unique Sudoku arrays. What can we do? Well, we start modifying the application code. We start saying if we are running inside window.cypress, right, in the Cypress control browser, that means during end to end test, then, you know, get unique Sudoku can, like, uh, is a function that maybe returns, and when we mark the arrays. Maybe we need to get them from the test, so we have to play games by creating uh, those arrays, loading them from fixtures, like right here, like first array set and sold array, and setting onto a window, and, and then fetching them here. Today I want to show something better. How cool it would be if we could just visit the page, and before we visit, we could say, uh, mark, uh, what is this? Uh, what is this unique Sudoku coming from? Uh, so this is solver unique. So we could say mark solver unique uh, Sudoku chess, right? Like let, imagine we could do that and say like returns, you know, initial array solver array, something like this. And uh, that would be kind of cool, right? So first we need those two arrays. So these arrays are available in the fixture, so we can import one and the second okay but how can we mark something if we're running an end-to-end -end test right when the network literally loads bundles of code there is initial code that webpack and i'm using create react app with react scripts you know that uses uh, vendor dependencies in one chunk our code is somewhere here all right you notice uh, this uh, by file and i'm using dev a bundling mode right now, so not production, not minified mode. So here's what I have done that you might like. You're going to install a module, right, as a dev dependency called mark in bundle. All right. Now, once it's installed, go back to your Cypress spec and you can say import think in bundle and it's literally mark in bundle. And now you can say, okay, right before you visit, you want to say mark in bundle. And you want to give a path to the module you want to give, right? That uses the file system, right? So unique Sudoku, so we can just say, we don't have to give a folder. So we can say unique Sudoku JS, right? And now we give an object of max because there could be default export in that module. Right, that could be named export. So what is here? This is all internal. So the only thing we interested in is marking this function. So we'll say forget unique Sudoku. Instead of bundling this thing and all this logic, instead, when you need this named export, here's what you should use. This little function that we just created in the spec file, and it should return these things, the two arrays. So let's see how this works. Okay, so let's look at our arrays. So our initial array starts with 0, 0, 9. Okay, and our game, blank, blank, 9. If we reload, every time we run it, it's the same array because it's marked. This is pretty sweet. And we haven't modified anything inside our application code. We just marked it, marked it externally. We can optimize this a little bit we know that our module that we are replacing is in main chunk because zero chunk is a vendor, right? Bundle is like webpack code and we are only interested in main chunk JS so we can make it faster, okay? Now you might ask yourself, well, okay, so you just pass like a function that just returns an array. You literally can say size stop returns and uh, give it an alice just like a normal so I'll say get unique Sudoku. Let's see if this works. Perfect. So our game, right, by default is calling with a difficulty and by default it's easy. So we'll say sci get 
left will get our stop should have easy okay so we confirm that whatever we put there as a mark for that module all right was actually used here's something else notice this timer all right uh, so this timer comes from this component i believe so it literally just has its own effect and keeps ticking normally before we do say visit i would freeze the timer using the clock okay in this case the application stopped completely but imagine we have other things we have animations we have periodic data load i don't want to freeze just so i can stop the clock right here instead we can do the following and let me just see if i can repeat this okay so we know this is coming from the timer okay and the timer it's uh it's a named export right so we can say time and now we have to return something else and this something else should be a react component so we can say maybe so div and we say time okay so let's see if this works okay so this doesn't work because react is not defined because we can't just do gsx without import react from react okay uh so maybe this uh a double imp marking is not working, so I have to be more careful about this. Let's see. Let's concentrate on the timer. And we cannot call this. Okay, notice that component that application is instantiating has actually been replaced by time. Why does it look weird? Because it has to have some styling. So let's add a class like the real component does to our mark div. And now look at this. But freezing the clock, we replace zero, 00 counter with seconds with just a mock time component. All right, so this is it. I think this is pretty powerful. I'm still working, right? There are a bunch of limitations right now. For example, you have to override everything you want to replace from a module, right? But the good thing, you can actually import the whole mock module and just say right here, like whatever you import as a wildcard, just put it here. Uh, in the future, I want to look at a production bundling, but that will be harder, I believe. But for now, just grab your Wackpack apps that are running locally and start mocking.